Guys, in this one, we're going to take a look at simplifying this third expression, which contains a third of a mixed number. Let's go. Okay, so we want to simplify root 80 add root 2 and 2 ninths, giving our answer in the form a root 5 over b, where a and b are integers. So, break this up. First of all, let's simplify root 80. So, root 80, we could write that as root 4, root 20. Now root 4 is 2. So we could say this is 2 root 20. Now 2 root 20 can be written as 2 root 4 root 5. So this is saying 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Again, root 4 is 2, so this is saying 2 times 2 root 5, which gives us 4 root 5. Now, the quickest way to have done that would be if we can spot that 16 goes into 85 times. So we could always have said root 80 is root 16, root 5, root 16 is 4, so again it's 4, root 5. So, we now know then that that's what root 80 is. What about root 2 and 2 ninths? So, 2 and 2 ninths is a mixed number. You never want a mixed number underneath a third, so we're going to turn that, first of all, into an improper fraction. So, if you're a bit rusty on how to do that, you do the bottom of the fraction times the whole number, so 9 times 2, and then add the top of the fraction, so that will give us 20, and then it's all over uh, the bottom of the fraction. So it's 20 ninths. Now, when you're square rooting a fraction, uh, you square root the top and square root the bottom. So we got root 20 over root 9. So, Root 20 is root 4, root 5. So that's what we've got on top. On the bottom, root 9 is 3. So up on top, the square root of 4 is 2. So we've got 2 root 5 over 3. So now our question root 80 add root 2 and 2 ninths is 4 root 5 add 2 root 5 over 3. So we've got a whole amount of root 5, 4 root 5 add a fractional amount. So this is the same Let's say now, well, we've got 4 root 5, add 2 thirds root 5. We've got 4 and 2 thirds, lots of root 5. But that doesn't really sound or look very nice. So what I'm going to do here is turn 4 root 5 into a fraction in terms of thirds. So 4 
is the same as 12 thirds. So 4 root 5 we can say is 12 root 5 over 3. So again, 4 is identical to 12 over 3. So we've got 12 thirds root 5 add 2 thirds root 5. So 12 thirds add 2 thirds is 14 thirds. So our answer is 14 root 5 over 3. 14 thirds root 5. I hope this has helped. I'm linking the playlist to all my third videos down below in the description. If anyone has any requests, send them to me. Leave them in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Get subscribed. Take care, guys.